What is going on guys? So I just got ready man. I'm about to meet Tan up at the airport We're actually gonna be heading out to LA for the weekend. All right We're gonna be checking out some clothing factories, you know working on the Richie Lee collection We're also gonna be hanging out with David and Andrew. We have a jam-packed weekend So stay tuned gonna be crazy enough talking though. Let's get there. All right guys So we just got to the airport man. Who do we have right here? Just met him up at the uh, food court How convenient look at here ma'am. I am at evergreens over there evergreens. Oh, no. the Salad spot? It's basically a Starbucks version of salad. So, You're not uh, going there. Quit lying. I'm going to, going to PY. 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 Get PY. Get yourself a little uh, sweet sour chicken. I've been looking for your sweet and sour chicken ass. I'm not going to lie. This guy eating this pizza is making this look kind of good. Might have to switch up the sweet and sour chicken for the pizza. All right, all right. So my man just pulled up crazy, crazy looking. Man, chicken nuggets? I'm not sure if I trust this place or not. So I had to just get one entree and just share. Don't want to eat too much either. Enjoy. Smells good. Wow. You gotta do a pan express orange chicken tastes like. That's the thing version. This is real orange chicken, okay? It tastes like real oranges. Hey, okay, what do we have here? What do we have here? Hershey's cookies and cream dip pretzels? Do I need to get this? Might have to give me this organic gluten-free. Man, what the this looks like what a damn baby would eat. <laughs> Like a Gerber Kids type of <laughs> snack. Cool. I really want to get the Haribos, bro. So Tan just asked me, do I think these Snickers are good? Maple almond butter, peanut butter, almond butter. Which one should we try? Maple almond butter? Yeah. All right, buddy. Add that to your little collection. Snickers, my friend, has come a long way. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, she did a good pick. She just got the same one. It's a good pick. And these, my friend, do not sleep on these. And I got some strawberry milk as well. You know, we had to get the uh, Gerber babies. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up right there. <laughs> Right now we're in like a uh, secondhand store. This is a store that we went to with uh, Paul about a year ago. And they kind of have like more hype pieces, I would say, than your regular thrift store. You know, they have Babe, Supreme, there's Stone Island here. So right now I've been big on these like kind of like throwback hats. I survived right there. Nice little. It's not bad from the front. You know what it is? It's the low profile. Low profile hats usually sit on the head better. Too square? Uh, I, think, Too square. I, think, I think it needs some more time to get worn in. Okay, we over here in the hype piece section, man. You could already see there's some Supreme, Palace, FT. <laughs> P, obviously anti-social. Even got a nice little kith collection here. Huge Stussy rack. I want to know why this jacket is six hundred dollars. Yo, hat shape, not bad. I was gonna say it looked pretty good. Oh, is that the same one? Different one. Oh, it's different. Cycle zombies. Hey, sometimes it doesn't gotta make sense. <laughs> got some nice little hand-me-down shoes. I'll tell you one thing, iridescent. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be the next big wave. Okay. This is kind of fire. Ooh, I was telling them they got a nice little kith rack. They are not playing with the prices though. One forty-nine still. Oh, or is that resell? You see that? Wow. Did they come out with this in? Can we just find a uh, one of one sample? So right here we have some Palace. Man, there's a ton of hype brands here. I'm not gonna lie, an entire Stussy section. I did not realize the lack of quality when it came to the Supreme NBA That's the Supreme clap. NBA clap? The real one? The real one. I thought they were actual patches. <laughs> but they're not. No, they're screen printed on. Not even screen printed. That's crazy. Brand new 249, so pretty expensive. This is fire right here. This is the jacket, remember? Hey, XL? Doesn't look like look, an XL. No, it does not. How much is it? 129. Okay. Not bad at all. Yo, this is. There you go. Fire. Got this one. If it was 149, I think about it, but 129 makes it easier to come. All right, all right. there you go. Supreme pinstripe. Yep, there That's you go. Thing. 129. Nice pickup. I'm happy this. So uh, Tan was doing a little bit more investigation on the jacket. Might be fufu. Might be fufu. So I'm gonna have to just let it go. Made in China. So you're saying uh, 1994 wow. should not be made in China? I'm not sure. I'm not a supreme expert, but uh, it is kind of flimsy. Okay, so we tried googling it. Couldn't find a model. We found the one with the supreme on the chest. Yeah, but, the, but even that was different. Just trust my gut. I'm gonna say no go on this one, you guys. All right, I'm gonna put it back. There you go. Fire. Supreme pinstripe. Yep, there you go. Nice pickup. 
Yo, will a pair of uh, Barclays make up for it? There you go, buddy. Your favorite shoe. What is going on, guys? So right now, we're staying with David and Andrew, like always. What up, man? What up, what up? So they had a uh, box come in the mail, and I was like, ooh, some new J's, maybe yeah, the 34s, I, you know? It was the right size. A little heavy, though. So I was like, I, I don't know what shoes these are. But they got the uh, Air Abalones hey. right here. You know the Air Abalones. A1 has sent me a box of abalone noodles. It's abalone flavored noodles, and they give you a real piece of abalone. Abalone is a delicacy. I've yeah. been to a buffet, bro. They yeah. go ham over the abalone. Who we got over here showing his belly off? <laughs> All right, guys, so right now we are on our way to go play basketball at the apartment gym. I gotta show you guys the Kobe's that I just picked up, man. The Kobe Pro Tro 4s right here. These gotta be the best basketball sneakers that I've had in a while. No breaking time. Hey, my new thing, mismatched laces on the hoop shoes. Yeah. Yeah. So I got the uh, evergreen colorway right here. The Milwaukee colorway is what they call them. And then I also have the teal as well. What are you guys hooping in? The newest Kobe's, you know, trying to oh, test okay. the new technology. We are walking into the gym. Let's check it out. Woo! Got the Clippers logo right here with the Lakers. Look how big this is. Yo, Tane, you think you can run a full court on this? Okay, get him, get him, Tiger, get him. Fast. Hey, don't put a weasel in the wild. You put a weasel in the wild, he gonna run. <laughs> Yo, he's done. He's done for the day. He's done for the day. I just pulled up to uh, Compton, California. Just got to our clothing factory. We're gonna check out some t-shirts that we're making right now and uh, let's go see what they're working on. This has to be one of the most comfortable couches I've ever sat in. It was a long night. Long night, long flight, long car ride wow. here. This guy was on one last night. This little weasel over right here. I found me a nice little, little bed on the side of the room. What I think uh, later on, we're gonna try uh, some Howlin' Rays. Mm -hmm. I heard it's amazing. All right guys, so we just wrapped up the uh, meeting for the t-shirt and now we're gonna go check out the uh, factory where they're gonna be sewing stuff. Let's go check it out. This is where all the magic happens. Loads and loads of fabric. A lot of you guys are always asking me, you know, how we uh, do our clothing and everything. Trust me, it's a lot of work. Man, it's crazy. You don't really see the work that goes into a simple t-shirt sometimes and uh, to see them sewing it, you know, it's kind of cool. 
so we are leaving uh, the factory right now. If anybody out there wants to start their own clothing line, what is uh, one thing you would advise? Uh, you definitely need to have a vision. You know, you come to these factories, you tell them what you want. They, it's not the other way around. You gotta kind of have a game plan. You can't just tell them, like, for example, like a t-shirt. You want to get a t-shirt built, you know, you got to tell them what the you want. Where you the tag is. Them, you know, exactly. So many things when it comes to making one piece of clothing. Even a t-shirt. We've been here at the factory for hours, and we're only just working on a t-shirt right now. Hey, just a t-shirt. We're trying to make it perfect. So right now, we just pulled up to Howlin' Ray's. Like we were saying earlier, we're gonna try this chicken out. Hyped, but delicious. So, uh, Kevin, our friend Kevin Law, you know, brick house builder he, as he, Nelson uh, calls him he's been waiting in line while we were ubering to Hal and Ray so he's a real one for that shout out to Kevin we're gonna go try this chicken out let's get it what I'm on how long the way in line for 30 minutes 30 minutes bad. you're it's a actually, real one this is actually pretty short compared to other times That's oh really I've been in the line before where it's two plus hours they said the line's been like this since they opened I wonder if this is better than the uh, Popeyes you guys know my uh, struggles with getting the Popeye sandwich oh I've seen it in the comments calories is better man you guys gotta let us know man what is the best chicken sandwich out there is it Chick-fil-a Popeyes or Howl and Ray's or somewhere else or the chicken from McDonald's can't go wrong with the big chicken we got, got the goods, good. bag secured. Shout out to Kevin. Got Let's go good. find a table. They said a banana pudding. It's wow, gonna be real that's good. the banana pudding. Uh, Ooh, look this. at this, bro. First off, well worth the price. Look how big the sandwich is. Ready? Wow. That looks so good. Delicious. Delicious. You know what it is? It's like really good flavor. Like seasoning. Seasoning wise, it's on point. I'm about to take a bite. Yo, the seasoning. Wow. This is mild, kind of hot. Oh man, good thing you got mild then. I've had the howling before, photo regret. Also, if you guys are looking for some sneakers, man, hit up Kevin's uh, sneaker page. K-Law Sneakers. K-Law Sneakers, hit him up, got some heat. For Yo, I think we ordered too much. We barely even touched the tenders. But that's I, I killed the uh, pudding, the pudding, the banana oh, yeah. pudding oh, was hey. good. Uh, there's a vintage shop right here I want to check out. East West, new vintage. Hold on, did we just find a gem real quick? So right now we're checking out this uh, vintage shop. Okay. Got got some Harley tees. Nice and loose, you can see it's almost kind of uh, fraying out, look at that. All right, I might have to get this tee. How long the brim is? The Daffy Duck hair. Oh, this brim is crazy long. So wear it to the front. Let me see the There you go. All right, guys, so we're just walking, man, in Chinatown right now. This guy, Tan, just said, hey, Kevin, are there any pet stores around here? Look, man, you guys call me the hood zoologist, so I'm always keeping my eyes out for exotic pets. Yo, this is the type of uh, street that's going to have those mini turtles. illegal turtles. No, no, for sure. There's, like, literally 10-plus stores within this uh, block. Let's make it a oh. mission to save a baby turtle, at least for this trip, and then I'm going to just set them off in the wilderness. After. We in downtown? What wilderness are you talking about, bro? Mission to find a baby turtle, man. <laughs> You guys do know in uh, in the U.S. it's illegal to sell baby turtles, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So we they know. have to be adult size of four inches. That's yep. why you never see baby turtles at a, a yeah. Pet store, a pet smart. Sure. But you know, sure. we're in Chinatown right now. We're about to see. Baby turtles. <laughs> Maybe they're hiding them. Maybe you need to ask. Usually they're just out. You can see it. Oh, it's closed. Yo, yo. We found them, oh. baby turtles. I told y'all I was gonna really do gonna it. You really gonna buy them? Get two, I guess. The hood zoologist is about it. Ten dollars. <laughs> this one seven, this one three. Oh. Are you uh, are you Cambodian? Khmer. Khmer? Ten dollars. I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let grandma over here. It's grandma. Yeah, grandma. <laughs> hey, grandma. Oh, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? What? All right. Don't try to negotiate with me. <laughs> I'm speaking her Cambodian, man. Did she go in a little shops in there, or Dr Pepper, or what? <laughs> Yo. I'm your savior. I'm happy, man. So mission accomplished in Chinatown. Tan bought two turtles. Rescuing two turtles. We didn't just get them. We wow. rescuing that them, was, man. Let's go. Where you gonna hey. bring them? I don't know yet. <laughs> so we're taking a look at the Kobe Pro Tro uh, Black Mamba. I appreciate, I know you're gonna appreciate this. The sail midsoles. I actually like the green ones more. The new one's got a little more of a vibe to them, huh? More of a vibe. This part's not black on the green ones, right? That's what it is, the all white bottom. I don't like the split. Yeah, you see? 
I knew there was something different about these. Oh, I haven't seen those in person. What color? Which one? What team is this? Suns. Honestly, I still like the black mamas. Actually, the, the Bucks in person is probably the best coloring, but online, the Bucks was not really doing its job. Online, this was the best. Yeah. Okay.